Hey guys, it's Aguasi Tilmer again and welcome back to my channel. So today I want to show you how we can actually do what's called body occlusion with AR Foundation. So I'm going to show you a video of a demo that I just ran to test this theory. So I'm just going to launch it. Uh, this is one of the demos that I built into my repository. You can see that I'm going to start tracking doing plane detection. The reason why I'm doing this is because I'm going to be placing a statue so that I can actually walk around a statue. So as you can see my hand right now, it's doing occlusion. So I'm occluding the actual statue by showing my hand and the framework is smart enough to find out that I am there. And I'm also walking around here and you can see that I'm right behind the statue and then everything is working. I'm also going to go in front of it. And right now the settings that I have are not the highest settings. I have it set to the fastest. So it will be better if you set it to best results, but it won't be as accurate. So I've been, you know, playing with it. I'm placing more status in here. Let me actually go ahead and forward it a little bit more. And then you can see that I'm basically around and I'm gonna sit down and hide behind the status. So it's working really well. I'm pretty happy about what the Unity team did to make this possible, it's really cool. So how can we make that work and how can you use that? It's actually pretty easy to make it work with a brand new project. All you have to do is just add a new component to the camera. But if you have a project that was built with a previous version of the AR Foundation, you're gonna to have to upgrade and it's going to, it might require some changes. So I'm gonna walk you through that process so that you understand what that, what that requires. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you which version I have. If you haven't looked at my repo, make sure that you look at Unity AR Foundation Essentials because that's a repo that I'm basically gonna give you as an example. And if we go into the manifest, JSON, we're going to be looking in here for AR. And this version is 3.0.0. We're gonna be going to 3.0.1, which is the version that was announced in Twitter by one of the Unity team members that works in the augmented reality team. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back into Unity and I know that my project is gonna break because I already did this, and but I'm gonna show you what we need to do and what things to consider if you're gonna be doing this in your own project. So I know that I need to upgrade to AR Foundation 3.0.1, so it's actually gonna be, oh, I apologize, it's actually 3.1.0 that we're gonna be upgrading to. And I didn't remember because I just did this like a few minutes ago. So we're gonna upgrade that package first, which is gonna be the Unity Foundation package. We're using preview that one, three, that one, that zero. We're gonna get some errors and that is expected. And the reason that I'm gonna get some errors is because I need to upgrade some other packages. So let me actually make this, let me see if I can make this a little bit bigger so that we can see it better. And I'm going to, there we go. So I upgraded the AR Foundation. I'm also going to be upgrading the AR subsystems to, let me go ahead and click on all versions. And it looks like that one is already in 3.1.0. So we're okay with these two, so these two are matching up. The other version that I'm gonna upgrade is the AR Core XR plugin. I know that I need to upgrade that because I had issues with it before. So, and then lastly, what I'm gonna upgrade is the AR Kit XR plugin. So at the end of the day, we're gonna be ending with 3.1.0 on AR Core, on AR Kit and also AR Foundation and AR Subsystem. So make sure that you keep those in sync. And then lastly, I'm going to upgrade this one as well. So let's see, and I'm gonna get some errors in Unity and I'm gonna show you how to fix those. And I, to be honest, I haven't read the documentation. I just got, I just saw that comment. So, but I know what Unity has been changing by just looking at some of the code. So we're going to be, okay, so we, I think we have everything. So one thing that I used to complain about is why do they name the reference point manager a reference point manager if it's if it's actually called AR Anchor in other frameworks? And it looks like Unity actually changed that, if I'm not mistaken, to be the AR Anchor manager. And that's what this is complaining. I'm not gonna be taking the time to upgrade this because I, I don't think this video is really for upgrading more than it is for showing you how to use the AR Occlusion Manager. But I'm gonna show you really quick here what they have. So you can see that it's complaining about the Air Recast Manager. And let me go ahead and close out of this. And let me close out of everything. And then I'm just gonna make sure that everything, yeah. So the Reference Point Manager, because they rename it, it's complaining about that. And if I open it up, and you're gonna see some red somewhere in here in just a second. 
And if we look at for AR anchor, let's see, AR anchor. And for some reason, it's taking some time to, to load. There we go. So we're going to do AR anchor. And there we go. So they change it. And I'm pretty sure they change it to AR anchor manager and AR anchor because that's basically what AR code users and other technologies use that use AR. So we're not going to be changing those. What I'm going to do instead, I'm just going to delete this. And I'm not going to be checking this in because I, I need to take some time to upgrade it. I'm just going to delete or comment out everything that is not supported right now or was renamed. And just to make sure that our project works. And this is what you will need to do if you want to. You can upgrade it yourself and fork it and basically do a PR. And I'll be happy if you do that as well for the community. And I think we uh, I think everything should compile now that I comment out everything that is not supported. And looks like a couple of more things in here. I'm just going to return true here just for now. And I think a couple of more, one more thing. I think we're good to go now. I just need everything to compile so that we can add the component that I need to add. So if you need to add a component for basically occlusion, all you really need to do is go into the AR camera, go to the add component, and you're going to see that they have an AR occlusion manager. Just go ahead and add it. And they have a few options in here. You can do human segmentation, which is fastest. You can do medium or you can do best. And also, let me go ahead and make this a little bit bigger so we can see the entire option. So one of it is the stencil mode and the other one is the depth mode. So just make sure that you change it. You know, if you want best, if you want fastest, depending on, you know, what you want to achieve with the quality, make sure that you test those. And that's basically everything that I wanted to show you today to basically achieve what I just showed you in the beginning of this demo. If you guys have any questions, please let me know.